uh, hi everyone so during the your sap upgrade abap systems upgrade using the sum tool there is a one prompt you will get in the configuration phase so there we have to enter the uptime how many process we required downtime how many process we required so this all these four parameters we have to carefully we have to provide during the configuration phase here so during the configuration phase some will prompt you to enter the uptime how many above process downtime how many above process sql process r3 trans and r3 load these are the four parameters we have to carefully calculate it above prof above process is tight forward we can check the how many number of btc work process we have same equal number of btc work process we can provide it right so and also sql process is number of physical cpus here so sql process is for how many number of sql statements will be executed at database level at the same time so the time how many number of should be executed that number of number equals to the physical cpus i mean to say here and also there is a sap standard node we have we have here we have to optimize the our sap upgrade procedure so how to calculate the above above process here so half time so and the downtime how many we have to calculate it here so if you see here the sql process above process we already discussed what time how many we have to give it it's equals to the number of work process we have in the system so sql process number of parallel sql statements to run on the database at the same time which i explained in the earlier right so same number of physical cpus we have to give it to the peer right r3 trans r3 trans is for the r3 trans is for the so it is used to the it will use the tp and r3 trans command tp is will read the packages one by one r3 trans will write the will write the objects from packages into the database here so here we have to follow the thumb rule while entering the r3 trans process uptime and the downtime here so maximum 50 and minimum we can say one into number of cpus we can give it to the here same will be applied for the r3 load process also r3 load is to three to five times of physical cpus here so r3 load will initiate the r3 x ex, ex, load export and import process import the data so three to five times of physical cpus we have to give it here so just we can refer the this node you will get the more information how many process we have to give it to the so in the system during the some prompts here so this note is very useful just you can enter this note thank you